Hello Capricorn, Narai here. Um, I'm going to do a reading for you guys, but obviously I'm not going to be on camera. I am not feeling the best and I am doing this from my bed. So, we're going to take what fits and leave the rest because we're wise, right? Spirit, this is for... Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South node. Please and thank you. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, and South node. What messages do we have for Cappies? Please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn. Please and thank you. Messages and guidance for Capricorn, please and thank you. Didn't see it. Mm. So. Oh my God, no way. Look at what showed up. I don't even know which one showed up first. But we're going to go with this. Last is Five of Swords. So we have the King of Cups. The King of Cups is a compassionate, understanding, and trustworthy person, Capricorn. This is somebody that is very supportive. This is a person this is a person that you can actually lean on. I feel like a lot of you have been through things and you just felt like the person wasn't really there for you. Like if something major happened, it's not a person that would have your back. I feel like this is a person that has your back. This person can do this because he or she loves themselves. But this is about you loving yourself too. Having that self-love. Knowing that through all of the crap that you've been through, That you deserve good and not allowing the things that you've been through tarnish who you are at the core. Still continuing to be, um, continue being that great loving person that you are. But making sure to be that for yourself before anyone else. The Ace of Water, the Ace of Cups, is about... An, a new emotional beginning for some of you and I've said this recently it's a self-love journey but you guys might be making friends you might be opening yourself up to meet new friends you might meet, uh, open yourself up to, to meet a lover but some of those romantic relationships are going to start off very innocently very innocently just like by chance you, you meet someone and it's like, well, you seem interesting. How about we exchange numbers or what's your Snapchat? What's your, what's your TikTok? <laughs> oh. But this is you being mindful to, about your intuition too because a lot of you have ignored that in the past. And I don't know why the King of Cups right now is reminding me of, it is reminding me of the, the King of Pentacles card. I feel like there can be stability 
And and the King of Pent uh, the King of Pentacles. The King of Cups card can be the energy that you guys are in now, but that could be the energy of somebody coming into your life. I feel like for a lot of you, it's somebody coming into your life because you've been with somebody who and if the volume is going up and down, I'm so sorry. I'm just going to post this from my iPad. I'm not going to go to my computer to increase the volume or add music or anything. Something told me to pull cards. Um, even, even though something just told me to pull cards and I did. I am a hot mess right now, so... You can see the cards and I can deliver the message and that's all that matters. But when I look at the Ace of Cups, it just makes me think of all the growth a lot of you have done. All the, all the effort you've put into yourself to be better, to protect yourself building boundaries and things like that to protect yourself because you know that self-love self-care you end up meeting somebody else that is also loving themselves and I don't know it's all the greenery in the back of this two of cups card right here it just makes me think that this is going to be so natural like it's going to be organic. It's not going to be forced and it's it's it makes me think of a it makes me think of a couple where people see you guys and they're like, "Oh my gosh, how long have you guys been married?" and you're like, "Well, we're not married. We just met 2 weeks ago or we've just been together for 2 weeks, but the way that you guys are together and the way the other person compliments you it's just so noticeable and it's so loud to everybody that sees you guys almost like it was a like you're a perfect match because sometimes you see people and they just look good together like they just look like they fit and I feel like you guys are going to feel like you fit and you're going to look like you fit and I feel like there's going to be a lot of emotion here these are three cup cards and then here we have the ace of fire, the ace of the ace of wands and the ace of wands for me is a lot of passion. And I feel like you're going to meet somebody and they're actually going to act on their feelings for you. They're not just going to talk and say they they want something and then not not do it. They're they're really going to put in the effort. They're really going to do the work. But I feel like this is letting you know that there may be opportunities for new beginnings in regards to something that you might have a lot of passion for aside from this relationship. And then we have the Five of Swords. This is about issues that have happened in the past just thinking about the things that have happened. It's like, it's okay for you guys to think about the mistakes you've made, the lies people have told you, but don't hold the person responsible for that. Don't hold a new person responsible for what past people have done. And don't accuse them either. But it, it makes me think of the fact that you guys are familiar with certain behaviors and you're going to be mindful of that. Um, so we're going to shuffle these oracle cards and see what comes out for you. And as soon as I'm done with this, I am drinking water and laying back in bed because today is rough for me. <clears throat> I don't sound the best either, I know. 
One more shuffle spirit for Capricorn, please, and thank you. Ooh. Do you see that? You'll see it in a moment. It's really hard for me to shuffle, so I apologize. Ooh. So the bottom, I have family, friends, and guides. All right, excuse me. Somebody's telling me to, oh no, this is perfect. So the message is for you guys to be positive, to be optimistic about love, be aware and conscious about the thinking that you have, the way that you talk to yourself and your expectations. Now I will say when it comes to people, we shouldn't have expectations because that's what causes disappointment. But when, with your expectations is how you expect good to come to you. Excuse me, you're not responsible for another person, you're responsible for yourself. And I'm showing here kindred partnership. When you meet this person, it's going to be a very kindred partnership. And you know what you're not gonna have to worry about? You're not going to have to worry about them being deceptive. I am going to recommend that you please pay attention to the red flags just in case. And then I'm showing professional assistance. Why might you guys meet this person at work? This might have to do with meeting someone at work. Are some of you guys to heal and be ready for this? You may need professional help. Therapy. Therapy is really good and very, really healing. And then I have two spirit cards. The first is the vast universe. Know that the universe is working for you, not against you. And then... Being that I said that, you have friends, families, and guides. Family, friends, and guides. You have people that are cheering you on. Surround yourself with people that are rooting for you, not the people that aren't, not the people that are critical or always need to say something. Sometimes people say something to make themselves feel better. But I feel that maybe some of you guys have family that's talking to you that's no longer here and you feel their presence. Some of you get messages in your dreams. I don't know. Let's move these cards. And I'm going to shuffle from here and then I'm done. Yeah, this is a different deck. Messages and guidance, please, for Capricorn Spirit. opportunity I, I don't know why I just thought this person could be the opportunity of a lifetime or there's something coming that may be the opportunity of a lifetime for you Wisdom, trust your intuition, know that you have the answers, be wise in your decision making, be logical, don't, don't make 
major decisions when you're upset, be wise. Keep things simple. Don't complicate things. Don't overthink things, Capricorn. You overanalyzers, you. I know because I am too. Don't be so analytical and nitpick things apart. Keep things simple and light. Don't add weight to a situation. Don't make things heavy for yourself. And then focus. Focus on what matters. Focus on yourself. Focus on what's important. Focus on simplicity. And that is what I have for you guys. I love you. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And until next time, until next time, love you. Bye.